Hey guys, it's Fane, and today I am going to give you my top 10 tips for the forest. So tip number one, go to cave two. Cave two is easy to find and access. You need to go to this location here. Be careful as there may be a few cannibals around. Once in, turn right. There are two cannibals sleeping. You can sneak up behind them and kill them easily. From there, look for a hanging skull lamp with a rope. Go down the rope and you will find many items including the modern axe, rope, dynamite, arrows, medication and much more. Tip number two, spears. Spears are very easy to craft as they only require two sticks. They will kill animals in one hit, so it is a great weapon for getting food. Aiming can be a bit tricky, but I tend to use the index finger as a guide for where I want to aim. Tip number three, the fertile lands. The fertile lands are a great place to set up your basic camp for the first few days in the forest. It is located here. You can find many resources for your base such as sticks, rocks and logs. A lot of animals also spawn here which include rabbits, lizards, deers, raccoons, fish and squirrels. There are also numerous water sources around and on the nearby shores, turtles spawn which you can make water collectors with. Tip number four, stamina. Running out of stamina is annoying. However, benches, chairs and the cassette player found on the yacht recharge your stamina. So if your stamina is low, you can gain it back in a few seconds by either sitting down or listening to music. But be careful. If you are using the cassette player, you will not be able to hear the cannibals. Tip number five is bags. You can make numerous bags and pouches that will help you carry extra items throughout the game. You can craft a stick bag, rock bag, berry pouch, quiver and water skin. Tip number six, bird houses. When you have a base, make sure you make a few bird houses. After about a day, you can get around 10 feathers from each bird house. This way, you can always have plenty of arrows. Tip number seven, water collectors. One of the best ways of ensuring you always have water is to make a water collector. You craft one using four sticks and a turtle shell. Craft multiple collectors so when it rains you have plenty of water until it rains again. Tip number eight, caves. Once you have taken out the cannibals and mutants inside a cave, they do not respawn. Mutants and cannibals cannot follow you into the cave, so once it's cleared, it is completely safe. Caves are a great place for resources, and over time, the items respawn. You can also make a basic camp inside of them. Tip number nine, tree houses. Although tree houses are appealing, I do not recommend using one as a base, as armsies can knock them down in one hit, and later in the game, Mutants will spawn often, increasing the risk of it getting knocked down. But if you really want to build one, just make sure it is very fortified. And finally, tip number 10, holders. The holders can be upgraded so that you can hold more items. If you build a holder, click R1 and then you can hold more logs, sticks or rocks inside of it. Well guys, those are the top 10 tips I have for you. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.